would like to share my thoughts and ideas about the letter X. The letter X can mean many different things. For instance, it can mean X-ray, SpaceX. It can also replace the Christ part in Christmas to make it Xmas. There are infinite possibilities of what it could mean, even TEDx. But when I think of the letter X, the first thing that hits me is the variable used in maths. In many math tests, we're asked to find out the value of X. We use X because it means an unknown thing when translated into Arabic. There's a phrase in Arabic called al jabr and al jabr roughly translates to the system for reconciling disparate parts. Then, al jabr came to English and became algebra, one example among many. Math and Arabic both interest me a lot. Math interests me because it always gives me an extra chance to face. Arabic is a new language for me and it interests me in the same way math does. It gives me an extra challenge. Here in the UAE, we learn Arabic in our schools. When I first came here, I only knew one word in Arabic, marhaba. But after my first few lessons, I realized that it was a supremely logical language. To write a word or phrase in Arabic is like crafting an equation because each word or sentence is extremely precise and carries a lot of information. The Arabic text containing this mathematical wisdom finally made its way to Europe. To be more specific, Spain, in the 11th and 12th centuries, the 1200s and 1300s. And when this arrived there, there was tremendous interest in translating it into Spanish. But there was a problem. The problem was that there are some sounds in Arabic that just can't be said or pronounced correctly without lots of practice for it. Trust me on that one. Also, those very sounds tend not to be represented by the characters that are available in European languages. Here is one of the main culprits. This is the letter Sheen. It is the first letter and sound of the word Shayun, which translates into the word something. The problem for the Spanish who were tasked with translating this material is that there's no sh sound in Spanish. So, by convention, they created a rule in which they borrowed the CK sound k from the classical Greek in the form of the letter chi. Then, when this material was translated into Latin, they simply replaced the Greek chi with Latin X to make it. And then once that happened, it formed the basis for the mathematical textbooks for almost 600 years. Imagine that. But now we know why we use the letter X. Why is it that we use the letter X? We use X because Spanish doesn't have the sh sound or because Arabic is a way too logical language. The letter X also comes in other forms of math, like it is a multiplication sign. But let's start a few centuries ago in 1618. Okay, let's all imagine we're writing this down. Write two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. If you wrote it down, it would have been very long. The, the, the multiplication sign was the idea of William Ottred. If you look at the plus sign and turn around 45 degrees, it becomes a multiplication sign. When I told you the transformation from the Greek chi to the Latin X was simply removing the curvy edges, now all they're doing is turning the addition sign by 45 degrees to make it the multiplication sign. I would like to thank you all for being an extremely great audience and I am extremely thankful to have your attention and I'm, and I'm extremely thankful for you to taking the time to listen to me. Thank you.